сказал, а, Коля? Когда я тебе что-то говорю, ты иногда меня... Ёб твою медь, блядь! Останови! Ёб! Heavy rain, which started late on the 26th of April, caused scores of mudslides, two of which turned deadly and destroyed dozens of homes built on the hillsides on the outskirts of the city, which is the capital of the northeastern state of Bahia. Chilean volcano Calbuco has erupted for a third time in just over a week, sending a cloud of ash and smoke high into the sky. Gone now. The death toll from Nepal's massive quake now tops 7,000, with the number expected to rise even further. The number of killed foreigners is still unclear as around 1,000 European citizens are still unaccounted for. More than 14,000 people have also been reported injured. At least 45 people have been killed and more than 200 injured after freak mini cyclones swept northwest Pakistan. A massive tremors have been felt uh, here in Delhi and in fact in several parts of the country. Uh, it seems there has been a very strong earthquake. The China International Search and Rescue Team is en route to Nepal. The 62-member team is taking rescue and medical equipment as well as six sniffer dogs. They're expected to arrive in Kathmandu midday on Sunday. The strong undersea earthquake that struck between Taiwan and southern Japan on Monday sparked a house fire that killed a person outside of Taipei. The earthquake triggered an advisory for a tsunami of up to me one meter in Japan that just lifted up just over an hour. Over a hundred dolphins have beached themselves on a shoreline north of Tokyo. Sunday's hailstorm killed a large number of birds. Parrots, kites and crows were among the 217 birds which died or were found critically injured at Vasna Baraj in Paldi and other parts of New West Zone. And turning to China, major sandstorms are sweeping across the northwest of the country as it faces one of its worst bouts of yellow dust in over a decade. Severe storms are threatening many across the south this morning after several tornadoes touched down overnight. A new view from the air this morning shows floodwaters surrounding homes, barns and cars south of Dallas. Yes, it is a rare sight indeed. It happened today over West Oahu. Have you ever seen anything like that before? It rained about 7.8 inches in about 24 hours. And that figure is about 65% of what's normal for the month of April. Relief operations in quake-stricken areas are still underway. Nepalese authorities have ruled out the possibility of finding any more survivors from under the rubble. The last person pulled out alive was found on Thursday evening. Meanwhile, the slow flow of relief supplies to mountainous areas has raised fears of a disease outbreak. Nepal is under criticism for holding up deliveries of vital aid due to its customs restrictions. The 7.8 magnitude quake was the deadliest in Nepal in more than 80 years.